New this morning, the push for more self-driving cars on the roads is moving into high gear. Waymo, the self-driving service, is expanding its operations center into Chandler. And that's where we find Team 12's Nikki Zymek live this morning. Nicole, a bigger center means more cars, which means more jobs, right? Yeah, that's right, Paul. And Waymo <clears throat> is expanding, but the bigger headline here is that they are launching their first fully self-driving transportation service. You've seen these cars driving around. Well, now you're going to be seeing driverless cars chauffeuring people around. It is a revolutionary concept, and as you can imagine, this didn't happen overnight. Waymo has been developing its driverless technology for a decade. They've logged 8 million miles of self-driving on public roads and 5 billion in simulation. Last year, Waymo launched its early rider program right here in Phoenix, and they now have more than 400 riders using it, and they're expanding. That means they have people who have signed up for it and they pull up the Waymo app on their smartphone and hail a Waymo car just like you would do for an Uber or Lyft. But unlike Uber or Lyft, some of these cars are fully driverless. Not all, but some. And yesterday, for the first time ever, our cameras were allowed inside the Waymo headquarters and we got to sit down with the Waymo head of operations. She says the feedback they've been getting from these early drivers has been positive. We have over 400 riders and they're using our cars, which is what you see driving around. They use it to go to the grocery store, to the bank, to the gym, to work, uh, to the mall, and they're using it as their daily transportation. Now, if you're interested in this, if you want to sign up, if it's something you want to try, you can't do it just yet. They are, however, launching to the public later this year. But Rachel Paul, the future is here. I'm telling you, it's wild. And you were just saying a trip to the airport would be nice with no talking. Well, it's simultaneously <laughs> the best and worst part of a rideshare experience is that you have to sit in a car with a stranger. And so a lot of times I don't really want to talk to the stranger because maybe we don't have a whole lot in common. The stagecoach would have been good for you because, you know, they're up there. On yes, the except for the horse <laughs> smell. This is better. Rusty. All right. Still ahead on 12.